guys, so for the first part of this video, it's just a show and tell of my first project life page, so you can see it up close. Um, the lighting's not that great because this first part of the video is filmed uh, at night, but so you guys can get a basic idea of what I created for my first page, which is pretty good, considering this is the first page I actually have finished in Project Life. No half project left here. And then this is the second half of the page, well not the second half, but the other half on the other side of the page that I'm starting to work on, and I thought I would record the process so you guys could kind of see how I'm doing it as a beginner in Project Life. Um, first thing I'm doing is I'm layering these two photos on one 4x6 paper so I can get an idea how I want it to cut a little easier. Because um, something I've gotten as a tip from the girls at Two Peas in a Bucket is that when you're doing Project Life, if you can figure out where you want your photos, it's going to make it a lot easier for you to get an idea of what you're going to do as far as the scheme of things. Um, after that, it's just a matter of picking out the cards that you need. So right now I'm just like layering these two photos so I can get more out of that 4x6 pocket because these two photos are really similar so I don't want to have them in two separate 3x4s. I decided to just layer them together kind of like you would if you did it on Adobe and you had the photos digitally like so that they would be right next to each other and I love the way that they came out. And then now I'm just adding another photo there because I know where I want that and it's going to be um, in my three, my other 4x6 pocket up there which is going to be like the next beginning page. So far these are the two photos that I punched out using my We Are Memory Keepers uh, punch which I really love. It's awesome because you can just use punch out uh, pictures that are 3x4 perfectly to fit into your sleeves from a 4x6 and I already used it on my other page as you saw for the first one that I showed you at the beginning of the video. So right now I'm deciding where my photos are going to go and then once I decide that I can decide which card I'm going to use. That's a card from, from the Citrus Twist collection, um, not collection but kit. And that's an Allison Craft uh, paper that I'm using from uh, Eclectic, Eccentric Eclectic Collection, I believe it's called. And um, I'm deciding whether I'm going to use that. So, and I decided I would. So I made a four by six um, little card for it for that corner piece there. And right now I'm going to round the corners uh, using my corner punch, so that I can kind of uh, have all the photos in that one three by four lineup. Um, with rounded corners because I mean you don't necessarily have to do that but it just depends on your preference I prefer to do that for the layout that I'm doing and I love that card by the this is just with a twist kit club like I really love that kit and the cards that come in it so and that's from the July club I believe right now I'm just adhering my photo down to that mat that I created um, so that I have somewhere to place it and because I didn't want the whole photo had a lot of extra space on the side So I just decided to cut it down so that I'd also have some room to do journaling and And it also just make it look different overall It's just you can't be afraid to play with it and cut things down and another tip for you If you're first starting project life is to print out all your photos that you have even the ones you think you might not use just print all of them out because then you have a variation to choose from and you don't have to stop on a page that you're working on because you don't have a photo specifically for that spot or you think of something else you could have used. Um, right here I start creating an embellishment that was actually punched out from a Jenny Bolin uh, Fiskars punch which you can get at Joann's I believe if they still have them because I know a lot of them are limited edition. I punched that out of a 4x6 uh, lined note card because I wanted it to look like lined paper because I'm creating my own embellishment right here. And then I punched out a little heart with my Stampin' Up! heart punch. And I'm using that because I'm going to be adding this to the photo. I just think it would look cute. And I love creating my own embellishments. That's the fun part to me about, you know, being a crafter. I have this stamp set from Switches with a Twist and a little arrow, which I just love. And I'm using some Donna Salazar mixed media ink, which is one of my favorite colors, which is the yellow. It's like um, a mustard yellow, I believe. I forget the specific name of it. But it's my favorite yellow, and it's the only one I believe that is in that specific collection for her mixed media chalk inks and all that. But I just love it, and I decided to add that so it can have a little arrow pointing to where the actual journaling will end up going. And right now I'm just adding some foam adhesive just to give it a little dimension and pop it up because it's just fun to pop things up. <laughs> 